Which of the following is the most likely cause of her symptoms? Acoustic neuroma, cerebrovascular accident, idiopathic facial nerve paralysis, Ramsey-Hunt syndrome, or trigeminal neuralgia? A 32-year-old woman presents with a one-day history of sudden onset weakness in her right side of her face. She is unable to close her right eye completely, and uh, her facial expression is asymmetrical when she tries to smile. She denies any pain or recent injury. Um, on the physical examination, there is no hyperacusis or loss of taste sensation. Which of the following is the most likely cause of her symptoms? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of, and I see a patient with no pain um, who has, this is pretty clear to me, like a Bell's palsy is what I would kind of first thought out came to my mind. Um, and so I would get rid of trigeminal neuralgia because that is extremely painful and you would not, you would know it. Um, acoustic neuroma would obviously come with, I think, with some hearing loss. And since there was no hypercusis, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Question for you. Acoustic yes. neuroma, is that acute or chronic? Acoustic neuroma? I would say this is going to be a chronic thing. Yeah. So always in your back pocket, start thinking about, you know, this is a one day history, right? So this has to be, you know, this is an acute issue. You know what I mean? So mm. that's going to kind of narrow it down for you too. Okay. I believe Ramsey Hunt is something with like rheumatoid arthritis, I think. And so I don't believe that's the answer. Um, and a cerebrovascular accident or a idiopathic fa facial nerve paralysis. I'm leaning towards that, even though there's a loss of taste sensation. Um, loss of taste sensation does come from the chorda tympani. But there says, is no so make sure you read no hyperacusis or loss of taste of sensation. You know what I mean? So no one yeah. knows. And so, well, I would... Uh, cerebrovascular. I, I would definitely go to still towards... I, I mean, I know that facial nerve has the corda tympani. Oh, yeah. That's what you're trying to say. That's going to cause a loss of taste. The corda tympani. Yeah, the corda tympani. A loss of taste in the anterior two-thirds of the tongue. And so this is kind of where I'm like, I feel like everything lines up with facial nerve paralysis. But okay. this one thing is, is freaking me out, you know? And so... so what does your gut say? My gut says it's facial nerve paralysis. Okay. Do you have any reason to change it to something else? Vascular accident. What's another term for cerebral vascular accident? Maybe a stroke? Yeah, that'd be a stroke, okay, so right? Then, yeah, I would actually probably go with that. You want to go with stroke? I would probably go with stroke. More. Yes, I'd probably go. Oh, I don't know, man. This is. To me, it's sudden onset. That's one thing that I think. Okay, what was your original diagnosis? I thought it was Bell's palsy at first. Okay, if you're going to go based off your initial diagnosis, what answer would you choose for Bell's palsy? Facial nerve paralysis. Okay, you want to stick with that or you want to change it? I'll stick with it. Okay, let's see. Should be, okay, right? Okay, awesome. <laughs> right? So, so you know, um, remember, Bell's palsy it just depends on Yes, you're correct with the facial nerve with um with um corda tympani, but in a sense, right, it just depends on where the facial nerve is affected, right? So yeah. the the corda tympani comes off in different, you know, different um how do I say this? Uh, the corda tympani comes off at a, at a certain point, right? And so it depends on where the Bell's palsy is and what caused the Bell's palsy and things like that. But let's talk about the rest of it. Acoustic neuroma, right? That's a benign tumor of usually cranial nerve eight, so it's actually you know, um, cranial balance nerve eight, and vertigo. Yeah. yeah, balance, vertigo issues. Um, it can compress the facial nerve causing facial nerve weakness. Right. Um, but like I said, it's going to be a chronic thing. It's not going to just be, you know, it's going to be a slow onset. Um, and you're gonna have other symptoms. The stroke can cause facial nerve weakness. Right. But you're going to also have, you know, um, a weakness of the lower face, maybe sparing the forehead and the eye closure is kind of what they're saying here. Ramsey Hunt is actually a varicella, okay? Yeah, um, I know. Zoster, right? That, yeah. yeah, so like shingles kind of ordeal, right? Um, so you're going to get facial nerve paralysis, ear pain, and then you're going to have a vesicular rash. Um, I've seen this a couple times in my residency program. Um, pretty. That's actually what uh, Justin Bieber have. I'm not sure if you knew that. Um, I did not. Yeah, so if you look up Justin Bieber, he had Ramsey Hunt syndrome. He had vesicles of his ear, and he actually had facial nerve paralysis temporarily on one side. Obviously, he was treated. Um, but yeah, something you can remember. Um, Trigem neuralgia, right? Super, super painful by um, cranial nerve 5. Okay. All right.
And what happens if you, you know, um, I mean, we get tested on this, but um, probably less tested for you, but bilateral Bell's palsy, um, you know, it can be seen in like, you know, Lyme disease. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did not know that. I, I knew that it could come with, I didn't know it was bilateral though. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's bilateral. Let me look again before. Sometimes I have to like ask myself, is that correct? Did I say that? But let me look. Bell's palsy, bilateral Lyme disease. Yeah, it can happen on both sides for Lyme. So dang, good stuff. 